Uh, what do we got? What uh, what suggestions we got? Self-driving cars. Self-driving cars. I I'm straight up down to give all all automation to Elon Musk. He can not only take care of the driving, he could fuck my wife. Like I just want <laughs> I want to do less. So it's not because I think he's cool. I think he's definitely not cool. I think it's like it goes Prince Andrew. It goes it goes Prince Andrew, Alex Jones, Elon Musk, Gaddafi, Sam Tripoli, and then my wife. No, but I, my wife. But and then have you ever my done? Have you ever, done my, have you ever heard that comedically? My yeah, wife. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. fun. It's really yeah. good. Yeah, it's yeah. a thing I've been working yeah. on. Hold on. It's a, like it's, a. It's thing. a good routine. I think. It's a routine for me. Yeah. yeah it's like a yeah. kind of new. It's new material that I'm working on. But it goes like my wife. Yeah, and it yeah. doesn't matter. Right. You guys yeah. will hear more about it. I but. feel like it's gonna be a hit. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank yeah. you yeah. very much. Yeah. Uh, I w- I I'm down for self-driving cars for sure. That's like one of the my least favorite things is is driving places. Oh. I want, I, I get into a fight every single day with my wife about, because I turn it on immediately. And I'm like, the thing about, this isn't going to be funny, it's just real. self can you just take a step back? Self-driving, <laughs> self, the thing about self-driving cars is they don't have to be safe. They just have to be safer than us. And look around the room. <laughs> All these people drive like I just any robot can do anything. I will allow anything. I, I'm down with the Terminator. But something that it was frustrating to me that they're starting to do at McDonald's. McDonald's is a restaurant that low income people go to. Um, I don't know any. I don't know any of the words you just said. <laughs> what is the idea that I'm like wealth? Like I yeah, seem like I, a, I have air. Like what, great. I come from great I wealth. Know, I don't know. I like the idea of like uh, like somebody poor being in the room, being like, he has all these Harry Potter references. He's rich. <laughs> he knows this how guy, to read. This guy can afford a book this thick. <laughs> but they, they've, I've heard of McDonald's. They've got these automated things where you have to order at McDonald's from these touch screens. You can't just go up to the person that's at the counter. You have to go to the screen and order from them. Is it, are there people there anymore? Or is it just there's one, only a few? One clown in the back, like I miss when people would be here. <laughs> just a clown in a ball pit by himself. <laughs> like, is anybody gonna join me? Or what are we doing here? They like rub off all the makeup. Yeah. Prince Andrew, <laughs> yeah. John Wayne Gacy. What are you doing in there? <laughs> that would be a crazy revelation. If they just brought Ronald McDonald out into the town square and rubbed off his makeup and it was, in fact, Prince Andrew. I mean, at that point, I think we could just tap out on reality. We'd be like, it felt like a simulation, but 100% yes, yes. There were three Jesuses at the, uh, at the Stand Up on the Spot show and Prince Andrew is actually Ronald McDonald. He's Ronald McDonald. Uh, let's grab another suggestion. What do we got? Driving drunk. That's a lot, a lot like self-driving cars, isn't it? You turn, your, you turn the driving over to another entity, but it's just your blackout mind. I like that. Driving drunk, bad. Yeah. Alex Jones, bad. Idi Amin, bad. Uh, what do we got over here, guys? Suggestions to fix the world. Suggestions oh. to fix the world. Okay, if I was in charge, um, I think it's, honestly, and this is going to sound arrogant, but it's sex with me. No, my reels. What would I do if I was really in charge? <laughs> what I would really do? Oh, oh wait, no, 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 no. Where, where are you going? Hold on. We were just about to fix. We were just about to make the world come together, or at least the two of us. Um, <laughs> no, my real suggestion to fix the world would be um, would be if I was in charge of the universe, and when you graduate from high school, you you must. I'm taking. A, I'm, uh, I'm really not down with Alex Jones. This is a must. Okay, I'm the dictator of America. You must join uh, the military. Uh, go to college, um, do a trade school, or do two years of volunteer work. That, that's, I think that would actually solve sort of every problem. Uh, and we fund it. And, okay, you guys don't like that? Sex with me. Sex with me. <laughs> no, but that way we could clean out, we could clean, everybody that doesn't want to do those things just volunteers two years picking up trash, uh, you know, doing do, do whatever it is. We would have a clean ass country. We would have a well stocked military. We would have an educated country and we'd have a lot of welders. It would be fucking awesome. That's what I would do. What about you? I, I do like your idea of somebody that like has the choice and they're like, I'm not going to school. I'm picking up trash. <laughs> I'm Oscar the Grouch, for God's sake. Come on. That's what I'm doing with my life. What would you do? To fix the world? Yeah, you have, to, you have the power to make one great change. 
Oh, man. But you can't just say, like, I, I end climate change. You uh, have to, like, do that. I would make it mandated uh, that every 13-year-old uh, boy gets to have sex with, uh, <laughs> with, a, with a woman to prevent school shootings that keep happening. Uh-huh. That is a what do they call that uh uh they, they call that the the uh, the cure is is the cure is worse than the disease or whatever <laughs> yeah 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 it's just like there's 300 million 13 year olds like i didn't want this why is this happening and then one lonely goth kid like okay i'm feeling better about myself <laughs> it's like there's like 10 school shootings a year every 13 year old boy i am a hasidic jew it doesn't matter you get must in there. do it you get gotta in get there. in there grab that beaver Last suggestion, guys. What do we got? Final one of the night. What do we got? Scientology. That's not funny, and I don't appreciate that. And that is where I draw the line. Comedians trying to rap. Canadians trying to rap? MC Snow is good. I think Drake is good. I once, I once went to a date um, at the Scientology Center. I'll take a step back. Uh, I, did, I once went to a, on a, I was, I had a reservation and our reservation wasn't for an hour and we were right by the Scientology Center so we stopped. Are there any Scientologists in here by the way? <laughs> a guy starts levitating in the <laughs> <laughs> No, it's like being an undercover cop. You have to identify yourself if you are a Scientologist. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> and it just starts spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Skin falls off. <laughs> John Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> Head pops open like Total Recall. Yeah. <laughs> it's me, Tom Cruise, just making sure you're not talking about Scientology. I stand up on the spot in the belly room? The I go everywhere. Go <laughs> <laughs> um, so we went to the Scientology Center. I took the, we both took the test, the like test of are you fucked up? And, and like, it was interesting because I took the test and they were like, it was what I would have, first of all, I would say the first thing I was struck with in the Scientology Visitor Center is how how unbelievably cult-like it feels. Like, it's as if they hadn't heard about their reputation, if that makes sense. Like, if I was designing the Scientology Center, I'd be like, let's do some warm woods. Let's kind of make it kind of like a WeWork situation. This was like, they went to a set designer and were like, make a crazy cult headquarters. That's the vibe. <laughs> so I take the test, and they're like, oh, here's normal. And it's like, you're the ones arbiting normal. But anyway, here's normal, and then here's you. You're all fucked up. And then Scientology is the thing that can help you, which is kind of what I expected, right? Yeah. And then I go out, and they're like, S sign up. I give them a fake uh, email address and stuff. And I go out, and my gr my date that night is, I was like, yeah, it's crazy how they're like, oh, yeah, you can only be cured by Scientology. And they, she was like, no, they said I was good. <laughs> and I was like, that is so fucking rude. Now I feel like I should join. They were too prestigious. They're like, we don't need her. They were, yeah, but it makes them me think they think I'm the dumb one. They were, they were just like, okay, we got a mark here. The Harry Potter dude is definitely a stupid right. mark that will to give us his money. <laughs> this lady seems smart. You get out of yeah. here. You're good. You can go. The glasses are an act. This guy's a hipster, all right? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing going on with that. I did background work for a uh, Scientology film once. Really? Yeah. What it was, was out it? at a compound, and uh, they let me in with uh, guys who had military assault rifles. And then a, a German lady on a moped said, come with me. <laughs> and then she drove like into like literally like this city where they all stay. And uh, we did background work and they fed me cafeteria pizza. And then I was like, I've got a spot at the comedy store. <laughs> They're like, oh, well, come watch. You're like, please don't, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's it was crazy. bizarre. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised they use extras. Don't they just, can't they just make one of their slave groups do it or whatever? <laughs> you would think. <laughs> that got a response like there's clearly Scientologists in the room. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Guys, keep it going for Moshe Kesher, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremiah, congratulations. One more round of applause for Jeremiah. 12 years of hard work. What a great man.